Here is a case of glycogen storage disease. And you would think from its name that glycogen storage disease would mean that for some reason glycogen is being stored. Well, that's right, because that's what it is. And in this case, it's being stored in the heart, but you really can't tell that it's a glycogen, can you? It just looks like a thick wall. And you might think offhand that this is thick because of hypertension or fiber hypertrophy, but it's really thick because the muscle cells which contain glycogen are ha is having glycogen accumulate within the cells because an enzyme is missing to deal with that glycogen. So let's look at it microscopically. In fact, let's look at the liver too. And this, I think, will be ridiculously simple because what we have here is a blank screen. And now we have a black screen. And now we have what I wanted to show you. We see uh, a piece of uh, liver on the top and a piece of heart on the bottom. And uh, the first thing that you kind of notice is, hey, wait a minute, what are all these little holes in the liver? Is this fatty liver? Is this microvesicular steatosis? Is this fatty change? Well, look, all of the little spaces are completely within the uh, myocardial fibers, aren't they? So. Uh, like glycogen is completely within a liver cell. If this cell could process glycogen, it would accumulate, and that's what these spaces are. And similarly, in the liver, uh, you would say, hey, why do these liver cells look a little fuzzier than usual? Well, they look fuzzier than usual because glycogen is being accumulated here as well. And although you may agree that the overall architecture of the liver in this case is preserved and there's no nodules and there's no fibrotic bands. So it's not cirrhosis. And sure, you can make out portal areas and maybe you could even find a few central veins like there and there. You will agree that the hepatocytes themselves are bloated and swollen, uh, filled with this fuzzy material, which stains the same way as the glycogen in the uh, myocardial cells or anywhere, which normally washes out with processing. This is glycogen storage disease. I'm gonna end this uh, day today by giving you a little uh, diagram here because I can never remember this stuff. So even though we talk about glycogen stor storage disease, there's at least 10 different types now. The uh, common one, which was type two, was due to an enzyme deficiency acid maltase, and as a result, uh, the disease, the common eponym of the disease is Pompe's disease. But in all these different uh, glycogen storage diseases, type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 11, don't ask me what happened to 8 or 10, uh, there is an enzyme that's deficient in the metabolism of glycogen resulting in glycogen accumulating where glycogen normally would be present, like liver or myocardium, but anywhere that my, uh, glycogen would accumulate. So this is the family of glycogen storage diseases. I love this disease because it is so logical, and it's a classical example of a gene which is absent or mutated, and therefore doesn't make an enzyme, and therefore the substrate that this enzyme acts on accumulate rather than being processed. These uh, glycogen storage diseases, although they're rare and you probably never see a case, are just beautiful examples of uh, genetic diseases in which uh, enzymes are missing. Thank you very much.